Welcome friends to Spring Storytime. My name is Miss Ellen and I'll be doing story time this morning for you. Okay everybody, wave your hands, clap your hands, stomp your feet. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna do our welcome song. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello with our friends in story time. We clap and sing hello, we wave our hands hello, we wave our hands hello with our friends in story time we wave and sing hello we stomp and sing hello we stomp and sing hello with our friends in story time we stomp and sing hello okay my friends today we're going to talk about the letter c c and the letter c makes the sound of k k can you say that k K, like cup, or cat, or car, or cookies, or cake, or carrot, or camera. Those are words that make the sound of the letter C. K. The book that I'm going to share with you today is called Ten Little Caterpillars caterpillars and it is by the author Bill Martin Jr. illustrated by Lois Ellert. I'm reading this with permission from Simon and Schuster Publishing. Ten Little Caterpillars. Ten Little Caterpillars. Let's see if we can spot the first little caterpillar. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. There he is. The second little caterpillar, caterpillar wriggled up a flower. It wriggled up a snapdragon flower. head. The fourth little caterpillar, there he is, found a melon bed. Who likes watermelon? Mm -mm. They're really good. And honeydew. The fifth caterpillar, Sailed a garden pool. Is that on a maple leaf? The sixth caterpillar was carried off to school. Somebody must have had showed and show and tell and brought a caterpillar to school. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. I hope he gets away from the hungry wren. The eighth caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Quack, 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 quack. <gasps> Scared the caterpillar. The ninth caterpillar fell into the sea. I hope he doesn't get eaten by the sea bass. The tenth caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Who likes apples? Mm -mm, I love apples. So he scaled an apple tree. and hung there patiently. You see how different the leaves are here? It looks like it's getting colder and they're withering. And the caterpillar became what we call a chrysalis. This is a chrysalis. Let's see what happens to the chrysalis, my friends. Let's see if we're gonna see a surprise. 
Until by and by the tenth little caterpillar. I see a little head there with antennas. And do you see how the apple tree changed? It's not withered and yellow anymore. It looks like there's apple blossoms. It's springtime. That's when the apple blossoms bloom. It's spring. And let's see with our chrysalis. I see a little head peeking out. It became a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. So a caterpillar can turn into a butterfly. These are all the different types of caterpillars that we saw in this story. The first caterpillar is called, um, was called a morning cloak. And the morning cloak feeds on tree leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves. And it became this beautiful butterfly. The second butter, uh, caterpillar that we met in the story is called a buckeye. And the buckeye caterpillar feeds on a variety of leaves, including snapdragon leaves. And it became this beautiful butterfly. The third uh, caterpillar that we met was called a cabbage looper. And a cabbage looper caterpillar devours leaves like garden crops. And it becomes a moth. It's a little different from a butterfly, a moth. The fourth caterpillar that we met in the story was called a yellow bear. And the yellow bear caterpillar chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops. And it becomes a Virginian tiger moth. The fifth caterpillar that we met was called the yellow necked caterpillar. And it feeds on tree leaves. And it also becomes a moth. The sixth caterpillar that we met in the story is called a monarch caterpillar and it eats only milkweed leaves and it becomes this type of beautiful butterfly. The seventh caterpillar that we saw in the story was called the painted lady caterpillar and it feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies and it becomes this beautiful butterfly. The eighth caterpillar that we met in the story was called the woolly bear caterpillar and it eats many low growing plants like grasses and weeds and it becomes the Isabella tiger moth. The ninth caterpillar that we saw in the story was called the common wood nymph caterpillar and it feeds on grasses in woods, meadows, and fields and it became this butterf beautiful butterfly. And the last caterpillar that we saw in the story, the 10th caterpillar, was called the tiger swallowtail caterpillar. And it eats shrubs and broad leaf tree leaves. And it became this beautiful big butterfly. 10 little caterpillars. Okay, my friends. I have some caterpillar heads here, okay? And the caterpillar heads also have antennas on top of the head. And the antennas are colorful. So we have what we, this color is called black antennas, white antennas, red antennas, yellow antennas, and green antennas. We also have numbers next to the heads of the caterpillars. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And the caterpillar's bodies are all missing. We have to build the caterpillar bodies with what we call their tummies or their abdomen. So this caterpillar has black antennas. So we need to find one body part, one abdomen, one body part to make our caterpillar complete. Let us see if we can find the black circle. This is the white circle. 
This is the green circle. This is the yellow circle. This is the red circle. <gasps> there is the black circle. One black circle makes our caterpillar complete. One black circle. The next caterpillar has two body parts. Two. Let us see if we can find two white circles. Let us see. Two white circles. Do you spot them, my friends? Is this it? No, that's a green circle. I think I spot it. One white circle to complete, to make his body. Let's see if we can find one more. Let's see, let's see. We'll use our eyes. Is this it, my friends? No, that's a yellow circle. I think I spot the white circle. We found it. And this makes our second caterpillar has two body parts that are white. One, two. Let's see if we complete, can, can make our third caterpillar that has three parts. One, two, three. And the color that we are looking for is red because his antennas are red. Is this red, my friends? No, that is the color yellow. Is this red, my friends? Yes, it is. So we found one body part. Let us see if we can find another one that's red. Is this red, my friends? No, that is the color green. Is this red, my friends? Yes, we are going to put another body part onto our caterpillar. I believe we can see one more red circle. Can you spot it? It's right here. You did it, my friends. You spotted the third circle. So this caterpillar has three circles to complete it. One, two, three. Our fourth caterpillar has the color yellow antennas. Let us see if we can spot the yellow circles. Is this a yellow circle, my friends? No, that is a green circle. I think I spot the yellow one, my friends. Here is one yellow circle. Can you spot another one? I see another one. Two yellow circles. Can you see another one, my friends? Three yellow circles. Can you spot another one? Four yellow circles. Four yellow circles complete this caterpillar. This caterpillar has green antennas and it needs one, two, three, four, five. Five circles to complete it. I think I see all the green circles. One, two, three, Four, five. All our caterpillars are complete. One, this one has one circle. This one has two circles. This one has three circles to complete it. This one has one, two, three, four to complete it. And the last one that we completed was the green one. One, two, three, four, five. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You did a great job. Yay. Okay, my friends, we have a leaf here and there are caterpillars sitting on the leaf. Let us count how many caterpillars are sitting on the leaf. One, two, three, four, five. Five little caterpillars sitting on a leaf. One falls off and goes to sleep, closes her eyes and waits a week. Up comes a butterfly floating in the breeze. How many caterpillars do we have left, my friends? One, two, three, four. Four little caterpillars sitting on a leaf. 
one falls off and goes to sleep, closes his eyes and waits a week. Up comes a butterfly floating on the breeze. How many butterflies do we have left? My, uh, cat caterpillars do we have, my friends? One, two, three. Three little caterpillars sitting on a leaf. One falls off and goes to sleep. Closes his eyes and waits a week. Up comes a butterfly floating on the breeze. How many caterpillars do we have, my friends? One, two. Two little butterfly caterpillars sitting on a leaf. One falls off and goes to sleep. Closes his eyes and waits a week. Up comes a butterfly floating on the breeze. One little caterpillar sitting on a leaf. Closes his eyes and goes to sleep. Up comes a butterfly floating on the breeze. He fell down. How many butterflies do we have now? One, two, three, four, five. All the caterpillars became all these beautiful butterflies. Yay! Okay, my friends, today we talked about caterpillars. So this is what we call the life cycle of a caterpillar. The caterpillar is an egg in the beginning and it sits on a leaf and then it grows into a caterpillar. Then the caterpillar creates what we call a chrysalis. It like wraps itself up like in a blanket and it stays like this for a little while. And then a butterfly comes out of what we call the chrysalis or the cocoon. And then the butterfly becomes a beautiful butterfly that can flutter its wings and fly away.